And here we are back on our Dentron. After speaking to the customer, you know, the problem is we can't get tubes for this thing, man. It's, <laughs> it's a paperweight. So we're going to unfuck it. Um, this, guy's a, this guy's an 11 meter guy. Uh, so, you know, he really doesn't need all the band switches and stuff. So we ripped it all out. Gone bye bye. He also had a problem. Mr. Nickel is rewinding his high voltage choke. The high voltage choke was baked. Now, what's going to happen is either in this cavity here and under here somewhere or over here, we're going to put the screen because the original tube was a triode and it only required high voltage and filament. So now we're going to have filament screen adjustable bias and filament running this tube. So we're getting ready to replace the tube sockets. Thank goodness they fit our sockets. So we're getting ready to put the tube sockets in. We're going to seal this up a little bit because on the bottom of this is a fan on the bottom cover that's going to suck air down across these 400 A's and pull them out. So right now there's that cavity. It's done. It's just about ready. We're going to cut some turns off that coil. It's going to be our tank. And then uh, Nickel's going to finish rewinding that high voltage coil right there, which is a pain in the dairy area area. But look at that shit. That's how you get down while we sit down. Anyway, so it's coming along. This little Dentron's not going to be a paperweight when we're done. We're not going to let it die. The customer is more than on board with the conversion that we're doing with it. And away we go. Wash your damn hands and be safe. Seven threes. Okay, here we go again. This is where we're at. This is our Dentron we're converting. Um, like I told you in the last video, the, the tubes are no longer available for this, and when the ones you can find are ridiculous. Um, so we're converting this thing. Um, this gentleman is not going to be going out of the band that we're going to tune this for, so most of that stuff came out, and it's fine because we're going from triodes to tetrodes on this box. Which means instead of just needing filament and high voltage, now we also need screen and an active bias circuit. So that's what we're starting to do now. We've changed the relay from a double pull, double throw to accommodate turning our screen off and on right here. We're going to have a transformer added to the back of this guy. Um, screens and AC for the screens that come in here. And I, we've got these little blankets we made for, for isolating stuff. This is going to get isolated. Oop, right here but what's going to happen is this is basically a screen circuit right here now when this relay pops it's going to hit right here it's going to fire my screen down to my new tube sockets we got in there for our 4cx 400 a's and if you'll look those are not cheap sockets those are decent sockets ceramic gold plated we've also already rewound the high voltage choke which was already burned up um here is our now active bias circuit that we are going to add and basically, um, we're not going to add a fine tune for this. We're, we're, we're going to set this thing at a certain voltage and just let it go. Um, but this is, we got a nice 10 watt, I think that's about 10 or 15 watt zener on there. And uh, right here is our output. We should be getting about negative 65, 70 volts for these 400 A's. And hopefully that's what's going to pop out of there. But the power supply for this, power supply for this, are coming from that transformer you see nickel wiring up over there he's mounting it to a plate pulling the primaries and the secondaries through and they're going to come through here but they're going to be quickly diverted down okay you know they're going to come in the back of this hand but they're going to be quickly diverted down and then the screen ac is going to be quickly diverted and very kind of cool like mixed up through here and then we're going to feed our ac here so our screen is ready to do its thing then up here we took everything out except for this part of the tank system this part of the, of the, of the pie network so we're going to take the turns we need and the excess turns are going to come this way and get bolted onto this cap so we're going to use this whole piece and bring it down boop, and it's going to be you know basically perfect for 11 meters we're going to put four turns on it running across it's going to be done we're going to come off the tubes here up to this cap out of this cap here straight to the relay over here so everything's nice and neat and, 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 and good to go now now my challenge is I have to get this active bias circuit installed somewhere in here where it's not going to aggravate anything else. Um, and believe me, if you've ever seen the inside of a Dentron, you move some stuff here. 
Spacing is um, very limited. And there's there's my there's my there's my depth for the bottom. It's about an inch. Okay. Well, this circuit ain't gonna sit an inch, so I'm gonna have to modify it so it will. So now that it's built and I know what it is, now I can go ahead and maybe reconfigure it a little bit where it's either gonna sit. I don't know. I don't know where it's gonna sit. We're gonna figure it out. I've got a couple ideas, but it's gonna be. As a matter of fact, I just see where I'm gonna put it. I got an idea already. So anyway, we gotta get this guy in here. So then we'll have our bias. Then. Here's the bottom of our brand new tube sockets. Now what's going to happen is on a 250B or a 400A, you find the key. And the key on this one is right here. Here's our key, right? So this is the way it goes, boys and girls. Screen, cathode, filament, cathode. Pin 5 is nothing. 6 is cathode, filament, cathode. Okay, now that doesn't mean we're going to wire all these cathodes up on this tube. We're not. All but one are going to ground through a cap, and then one is going directly to ground. Okay. Now, on this one, we're going to feed our negative bias. This is a control grid. And here, we're going to feed our negative bias heterodyned with our input signal, and that's going to excite the tube. And then our filaments, obviously, and high voltage is already in there. So, there's really not a lot of work to do. we got we got to wire up a keying circuit still, because luckily, they use the 12-volt circuit in this thing for all the switching. So, one of my keying circuits will work just fine in here. So, like I said, right now we got sockets in. We got a screen circuit in. Nickel's getting our uh, get it on transformer. Initially, when I discussed this with this gentleman, this was going to be a two-piece box. But after some careful thinking and careful measuring and um, reckless stabbing, <laughs> it's all going to go on one box. It's going to be a hair awkward with that rear transformer with um, here's the thing. Now we have a dentron that's not going to be a paperweight anymore. So, onward and upward, we're going to finish figuring out our bias circuit, where it's going to live. And then we're going to get to wire and tube sockets, and, uh, while Nickel finishes up our plate for the rear. So, seven threes, keep watching. <laughs>